First, in order to create this dream desk setup, I'm looking for some inspiration on Pinterest. And I pretty much know the vibe I want. The vibe pretty much matches my whole room. Lots of pink, relatively minimal, a little bit of a cozy vibe. I'll put a little vision board that I made on the screen so you can see what my thought process was for this. And we also have to do some shopping. So I need to get some sort of shelf and I've always wanted the Alex drawers from Ikea. So I think I'm going to start with that. I'm thinking of hitting the five drawer unit because that's really all I need. I don't need like the really tall one. All right, here we have it. I'm gonna purchase this and get it delivered here because I do not feel like going out to Ikea. Going to Ikea is actually like a field trip. So I don't really need that right now. It's easier to just order it, get it delivered. Now I'm gonna go to Amazon and get some little containers that I can put inside each drawer just to further organize it. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this 14 piece clear plastic drawer organizer tray for makeup, kitchen utensils, jewelry, and gadgets. That looks perfect. It's clear so it will match and it looks like it will be good for organizing and there's different size little containers. I'm also gonna use this for organizing my makeup and skincare to double as vanity storage. So I think I'm gonna purchase this. All right, done. Next thing, I want to get a chair and there's a chair that I've been wanting for a while. It's from Structube. It's supposed to be a chair for a dining room. I've always wanted a Sherpa chair and it's really cute. So here we go. We're going to purchase this. All right, we have all of the stuff purchased. That's those are the only things I'm gonna spend money on for this dress transformation. Everything else, I'm going to use things that I already have just, and hopefully everything arrives within the next few weeks so that I can get started on redecorating and organizing. This is what my desk looks like right now. It's just a very simple, ikea desk just a white countertop and i just have some stuff on top and this is working for now but i really want to make it more cute and also have some organizational aspects to it because it does get cluttered very quickly because there's no drawers or anything so we're going to fix that <laughs> All right, here we have the Alex drawer and I'm about to start building it. I'm not gonna lie, it's looking a little bit intimidating, but I did build this bed by myself and it's also from Ikea. So I feel like I have a pretty good chance at successfully completing this. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I have the shelf done. I just have to do the drawers now and surprisingly it actually wasn't that difficult. So maybe I'm just getting better at building Ikea furniture. Little Starbucks coffee break because I really need coffee right now. Also, I'm, okay. <laughs> This is so dramatic for no reason, but like the, the Christmas cups are gone from Starbucks. I know it's mid-January, but like that's so sad. I got a caramel brulee latte and I'm just right now realizing that in like a week, this is going to be gone. I don't know what I'm going to do without this drink throughout the year. Okay, back to building the drawers. Okay, so here we have the finished shelf. It actually looks very, very good. Only problem is that I did it upside down. So, so like this is the part where you would put like wheels or something. I'm way too lazy to disassemble it and fix it. So I'm probably just gonna put some stuff on top because I could not be bothered. And honestly, it's not the end of the world. It's just gonna look a little bit weird with the holes in it. But yeah, I'm going to fill these up right now with my stuff. Okay, so I have a little haul from Amazon. I only got one thing as you guys saw. This is the clear drawer organizing trays and there are 14 pieces to it And these should be perfect to go in the Alex drawer to organize my makeup and my school supplies and stuff So let's start filling these drawers
So my chair arrived for me from Structube and I'm gonna build it now. This box is huge considering the chair that I got is not that elaborate or anything like that. You guys saw like the Sherpa chair that I got and it looks so cute. So I'm very excited to open it. I'm in my living room right now. And I'm definitely gonna have to build it here because I do not have enough floor space. Welcome back to my living room. Little chair update. First off, the chair looks really, really cute. Super cute, adorable. I still haven't set it up yet. And that is because they delivered it without the screws and the Allen key. So I'm missing screws and an Allen key, which is very crucial for building it. So I had to email and call Structube and they're gonna be sending me um, the required hardware that I'm missing. So a little bit of a setback on the chair part, but it's still really, really cute. Like, don't get me wrong, that's adorable. And then the legs are gold, which will look so cute. But like, I just can't believe that they <laughs> delivered it without the hardware. It's very inconvenient, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I just have to wait an extra week for the parts to come in. So a little bit of a delay with this, but I'll talk to you guys when the parts are delivered and we can finally finish building the chair and and then from there, the desk setup is like almost ready. I just need to organize it and decorate. So yeah, the pieces for my chair finally arrived and it's time to build the chair. The instructions seem simple enough. All right, now that I have my chair, this is what my desk is currently looking like. And obviously I need to clean it and then start decorating. So that is what I'm gonna do now. Here's what the desk looks like just organized without any of the decor yet. I definitely need to change what's happening in this corner. It just looks off. I have these little acrylic organizers and I need to put some stuff in here but I don't know what I want to put yet because I do have these drawers that have all my makeup stuff in but I might put some of my favorite products like products that I use every day in here just so that it's easier access. I think I want to move my salt lamp onto my desk. Alright, here is the finished product. Now it's time to do a little tour. I'm gonna try and link everything in the description box if you are interested in purchasing and I'll let you know where everything's from. First off, on the surface of the desk, we have my salt lamp. I believe I got this from Amazon a few years ago. I have my candle going. This is champagne toast i definitely need a new one because it's almost empty but it smells really really good i have a little trifold mirror and it has a little led lights in it it's really great for getting ready then we have some of my everyday products i have my makeup brushes in this little container from muji i also have this little acrylic organizer which is actually from the dollar store and on top i just have some of my everyday products that i use like my lotions perfume setting sprays basically products that i use every day that don't fit in my alex drawer and in these little drawers i just decided to put my everyday makeup products so i've got like my eyebrow stuff my mascara and then my concealer some lip balm and this little powder i also have this little dish which is actually a ring dish it's like a gold ring dish that I thrifted, but I like to use it as a coaster because I already own so many ring dishes. I didn't really need another one, but I thought it was really cute. So I just have some water there. Next to that, I have like a little desk extension with the Alex drawer. Originally, I was going to put this tabletop directly on top of it, but then that would have made the desk too small. The chair wouldn't be able to fit. So I think this is a good compromise because I still get an extension of the desk and I get to use the Alex drawers, which are still upside down. I have not fixed that yet, but I don't know if I ever will because 
because I'm too lazy, honestly. But on top, I just have some journals. This is my five minute journal. And then this is my little everyday journal that I like to use. They're very pretty to look at. So I decided to display them. And then I have one of those little collapsible crates. This is a little pink one from Urban Outfitters. And in here, I just have a bunch of random stuff that are kind of oddly shaped. I have my little film camera. I also have my ice roller and fish shaper. I have my lighter, some random sprays for my room and my face, and also a little jade roller peeking in through there if you can't see that. But yeah, these are just kind of random items that I just keep in here. And then I have my money tree. I'm not gonna lie, over Christmas break, I forgot to water her, but she's making a comeback. She'll be back better than ever very soon. Of course, we have the Sherpa chair. It's so cute and it's so comfortable. I feel like it just matches my vibe perfectly. Now we have the Alex drawers. I'll show you what is in each drawer okay the first drawer i keep a lot of makeup products and just miscellaneous stuff i have some claw clips here my contacts deodorant all my makeup products just stored by category the very back i have little makeup brush cleaners just those little things that you put in the sink and then you can use to wash your makeup brushes and just like random little beauty products on the side here in the second drawer we've got skincare stuff and lip products and then some like random beauty tools like tweezers this little eyebrow thing and then here i have all my lip products as you can tell i really really like lip gloss i have so many in the third drawer here i have some um, number one this bag i absolutely love this bag my mom got it for me and it's so funny inside i just keep all my tech stuff so like my cords sd card reader my hard drive all that kind of stuff and then under it i just have some office supplies so in here i have like pencils pens highlighters scissors and then all of these are journals and planners and stuff i really really like journaling if you couldn't tell so i have like six of them and there's even more back here this drawer is kind of a work in progress because I really don't know how I'm going to organize it yet because all of the things in here are so like bulky but this is kind of like my hair drawer and like random beauty supply stuff and then the last drawer here is like very random tech stuff. I've got like boxes for different Apple products. I have a little keyboard here which I use sometimes and a matching mouse and random bags with just different tech stuff. This has my film camera stuff in it, and that's pretty much the final product. All right, you have made it to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I will do my very best to link as many products as I can in the description box that were shown in this video. I feel like I'll be more productive with the setups just because it's more organized, everything has a place, and that'll definitely help me. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe and follow all my socials in the description. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.